Well, the Oregon silver spot butterfly is a species of butterfly that used to live along the Oregon, Washington, and California coasts. And their numbers have declined. Now they're only in four different locations. So basically, they're um, a federally listed species as being threatened, which is one step up from being endangered. And we started in 1999 doing population supplementation. We were mostly working with Nature Conservancy and the Cascade Head population because the Nature Conservancy owns Cascade Head. And that population had dwindled from around 1,000 every summer down to 57 animals in 1998. So that's when um, between the Nature Conservancy, Fish and Wildlife, and the Oregon Zoo got involved with doing the captive rearing of the larva to release pupa. So every year we get moms in the late summer, early fall, they lay eggs in the zoo, and then we overwinter them as teeny tiny little caterpillars, and then in the spring they wake up and we just start feeding them tons and tons of violets. Then they get released back out as pupa. This year, however, with over 5,000 of them, we're going to be releasing them as some of them as caterpillars because I don't have enough leaves. What we do with these containers, whether they're in jars or bins, they start out in jars and then as they grow, when they get too big for the jars, by third instar we put them in the bins. Every three days we need to completely change that jar or that bin so they get moved into a whole new container. Each caterpillar, we've counted over the years, and each caterpillar, depending on the temperature and the size of the leaf, they need between one and two hundred leaves for one caterpillar to become a pupa. So if we had five thousand, Caterpillars times 150, that's like 750,000 leaves. It's almost a million leaves. Um, we have a total of nine racks of Oregon silver spot larvae. So out here on the mezzanine, we've moved all the racks out of the lab, or a bunch of the racks out of the lab. And the ones that are all out here are just getting checked today. So those are the littlest guys. They're last week's guys. These are the biggest guys. These ones were taken out on the 22nd of May. And you can see they're in fifth or sixth instar. They're absolutely huge. And they ate everything we fed them yesterday, all except the stems of the leaves. And all the little spots that you see in there are their poops, which is called frass, F-R-A-S-S. -S. Everybody that comes to the lab gets to learn about frass. So these guys are the orange rack. There are other big guys. And then we have the medium size caterpillars that were taken out about a month ago. Oops, they're hiding. They didn't eat very much, so that means that they are getting ready to molt right before they, here's a little guy, right before they molt they don't eat very much. 